Yo, what's going on out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with an awesome money glitch video for you guys. It is solo, it's easy, and it's also very inconsistent. Alright, I'm just going to say that right now. Super inconsistent. Took me literally about 30-40 minutes just to get one dupe, but then after that they started rolling in. I'll let you guys be the judge. I just wanted to warn you that it's not perfect. Okay, but it is solo and a lot of you guys want solo, so here you go. What you need is a facility. You want it to be full with whatever vehicles you want. And I almost forgot, the founder of this glitch, Tuta Facile France, posted it. Celestial Gaming had something very, very similar. So shout out to everybody in GTA finding glitches, man. The whole community. Great job, everyone. Along with that, you need a 10-car garage somewhere else. You want that to be full of RHAs or Fagios. Okay? Once you have that full, you want to go ahead and set your spawn location to that garage. That's what I'm doing right now. Now, I just threw two RHAs in there to dupe over, but... I'm going to set my spawn location to that garage with the two RH8s. You want to just have it filled with RH8s, okay? And then select your outfit style just to save that. Uh, you do need custom plates. That's the only downside. You definitely need custom plates for this. Um, you want custom plates on the car you're duping, which is a Benny's vehicle like this LG Retro Custom that we're going to be duping here, okay? And this LG Retro Custom or whatever Benny's vehicle you're using needs to come from a different garage than that 10 car garage you're going to, okay? So drive up to your facility. Get the full alert, accept it, and then immediately, and I'm talking immediately, press pause, go to the online tab, and go to find new session. Just like this. Okay? And you want to just spam A or X. This works on Xbox and PlayStation. I had problems and I'm on Xbox, but I did get it to work consistently after a long time. Okay? But it does work, and it's solo. So you should spawn at your garage and check it out. This is what can happen. I spawn at my garage and nothing's happening. What you should see is you should see the vehicle selection menu come up and then you can actually replace over one of those RH8s. So if you keep spawning in your garage and you're just standing there and there's no vehicle selection menu, then you honestly have to go ahead and try the glitch again. One big thing also, public sessions. You want to do this in a heavy public session. This one time, well this first time that I got it to work, there might have been about 27, 28 people in this public session and I finally got it to work, okay? The next one, I'll show you two successes back to back. The next one was about 22 or 23 people in the public session. Okay, so here we go. This is the successful attempt. I actually went and got another garage, a little two car garage here because I was tired of going back and forth from the city. So check it out. I just wanted to refresh and show you guys. My spawn location is set to this garage that I got. It has two RH8s in there ready to go. I have a custom plate on my LG Retro Custom. I'm gonna get the facility full alert, accept it, press pause, go to online, and quickly go to find new session and spam A or X, guys. Just spam through it, okay? You wanna do that very, very quickly. If you do it too late, you could get frozen on that little screen, all right? So if done correctly, or you know, you could do it correctly and it still might not work, but if you get lucky, this is what happens. You're gonna be spawning in your garage and right away the vehicle selection menu will actually just pop up, okay? So you're going to see it pop up, and then that's when you want to go ahead and replace an LG RH8 or a Fagio. So check it out, just like that. You want to go ahead and replace it, and boom. So it doesn't get the, the plate from the RH8. That's why you need custom plates on it. It's a carbon copy glitch. So if you don't have custom plates, you will create dirty dupes, guys. You need a custom plate on your first car that you're duping, okay? And I just wanted to fast forward right here. Uh, you know, to show you that this is uncut. I didn't like that session I was in. That session didn't have too many people, so I went and found a new session, and then now I'm calling up that, uh, that you know, that Benny's vehicle again. Now, the original vehicle that you're getting glitched out with, that goes back to the garage you got it from, okay? Your dupe ends up in the garage that you spawn in. So, here we go. I'm going to try this again. I got about 23 people in the session. I'm going to get the full alert. Press pause, well, accept it. Press pause, go to online, and find new session as quick as I can, guys. You want to do that very, very fast. Heavy public session, guys, that is the key, I think. That literally is the key. Heavy public session, 20 plus people, even 25 plus people would be even better. So if done correctly, just like this, you're gonna spawn in your garage, replace over the LG RH8 or Fagio, and there you go. I have two brand new dupes. My original dupe went back over to the garage I got it from, and these have custom plates on them, so they are clean and ready to sell, okay? That's how the glitch goes, guys. Like I said, Easy, solo, but very inconsistent at times. If it doesn't work for you, just keep trying. I had to try for a long time to finally get it, but I was able to get it to work, okay? So 
that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Turn post notifications on. Drop a fat like on this video for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 15,000 subscribers. We are about 1,000 away. Let's keep going, guys. Peace out.